Hi, I'm Australian astronaut Catherine Vanell Pegg, and I'm here at the European Astronaut Centre in Germany where I did my training. When I was a young girl growing up in Sydney, I used to love looking up at the stars through binoculars and a telescope. But during my training here, we get an even better view. Space is where imagination, creativity and STEM collide. It embraces bold ideas, because bold ideas are how we solve some of the world's biggest challenges. Space technology turns our phones into navigation devices, helps forecast the weather, protect our environment, even come up with new treatments for diseases like cancer. When I first dreamed of being an astronaut, I never thought it would be possible to do it representing Australia. I didn't even think it was possible to have a space career at home. But Aussie kids today have the Australian Space Agency to look to and our very own moon mission. Ruva, our Aussie-made rover, will go to the moon later this decade to collect lunar soil known as regolith. Regolith simulants, such as volcanic dust and asteroid dust, have been used to make these special LEGO space bricks. These bricks can help determine if lunar soil could be used as a resource to build things similar to LEGO play systems, but on the moon. It's also what we'll need to turn the moon into a launching pad to take us further into the cosmos and put humans on Mars. Those humans are sitting in classrooms today, ready to become the astronauts tomorrow or one of the huge range of other professionals we're going to need to make that giant leap. That's where I, the Australian Space Agency and the LEGO Group are passionate about encouraging them to explore the limitless possibilities of space through creativity. The power of imagination is strong and because space, even though it is right above us and all around us, it's still quite abstract. So I think play is a wonderful way to help visualise adventures up there and be free to imagine all the possibilities.